So we told n number of time the double fertilization indicates the fusion of the two male gamete with the two different cells, right? So you know very well the generative cells are the mother cells. Generative cell is a mother cell for making the two male gamete. So the two male gamete is formed by the generative cell, right? So uh, here, if you're talking about the double fertilization, instead of saying the word, instead of saying the word fertilization, what else I can use? What else I can use? I can use, uh, instead of saying the word fertilization, I can say uh, syngamy. What is this? Syngamy. Either you say syngamy or fertilization, both are same. Okay, in US, UK English, instead of yes, they are using the word Z. Okay, this double fertilization denotes one male gamete after fusion egg makes zygote. What happens to the other uh, other male gamete, which is fusing with the secondary polar nucleus to make uh, the endosperm, which is going to nourish the zygote uh, for making uh, the embryo. So this zygote is 2N. This zygote is 2N. This endosperm is 3N. This endosperm is 3N. This endosperm is 3N, right? <clears throat> so you should be very careful with uh, just uh, I given the small uh, intro here. Uh, we'll go in detail. Uh, in this place, in the double fertilization process, um, we know very well the pollen tube is uh, making the male gamete to get entry into the male gamete to get entry into where? Into the <coughs> ovary, right? Into the ovary, right? So these are things we already discussed with you. Okay, the primary endosperm nucleus is triploid. Instead of saying like this, how many 3N is formed in the post-fertilization process? Post-fertilization process, like this, if they're saying, there is wrong. Okay, in the post-fertilization process, how many endosperms are formed? Like this, if they're saying, it is not wrong. It is correct only. So be very careful. Okay, this endosperm is the outcome of fertilization. So that is why it is called post-fertilization process. In the post-fertilization process, this endosperm is formed because of what? And two primary polar nucleus are fused. You're getting secondary polar nucleus. The secondary polar nucleus in some CBSC board exam, they are saying two prime or two degree PN, like this they are saying, okay? And then uh, this secondary polar nucleus, okay? Sometimes they are saying SPN, sometimes they are saying two degree PN. Okay, this uh, two PN or SPN is the outcome of the fusion of two primary polar nucleus, one primary polar nucleus another primary polar nucleus fuses, you are going to get secondary polar nucleus or SPN. This SPN or secondary polar nucleus after getting fusion with the, with the male gamete, it is going to make the endosperm, which is nothing but, which is nothing but 3M. So uh, they will ask the history, how you got two primary polar nucleus because of mitosis and meiosis, mitosis, mitosis, mitosis. So the other name of secondary polar nucleus is also called as mitocyte. Mitocyte. Why? Because the outcome of the mitosis, whatever the cell which is formed because of mitosis is called mitocyte. Then what do you call the primary polar nucleus? Mitocyte mother cell. Mitocyte mother cell. So the primary polar nucleus is also called as mitocyte mother cell. The secondary polar nucleus, secondary polar nucleus, Secondary polar nucleus is not called as mitocyte. So listen very, very carefully. Okay, the mitocyte, the word, I can say only, only for primary polar nucleus, primary polar nucleus. So one primary polar nucleus makes two primary polar nucleus, two primary polar nucleus. So the primary polar nucleus, the word is called mitocyte. Secondary polar nucleus is not called as mitocyte. Secondary polar nucleus is not called mitocyte. Only primary polar nucleus is called as mitocyte. Why? Because primary polar nucleus is an outcome of mitosis. Is the outcome of mitosis. Who is the outcome of mitosis? Primary polar nucleus is the outcome of mitosis. So, how I got how I got endosperm because of secondary polar nucleus under the male gamete. How I got secondary polar nucleus? 
primary polar nucleus. So primary polar nucleus, how I got because of mitosis process, because of mitosis process. So secondary polar nucleus, how we got because of simple fusion, because of simple fusion. This fusion is not the part of double fertilization. This fusion is not the part of double fertilization. Okay. So I got endosperm because of the fusion of secondary polar nucleus and male gamete. Okay. I got secondary polar nucleus because of the fusion of two primary polar nucleus. I got primary polar nucleus because of mitosis. So the primary polar nucleus is called what? Mitocyte. Primary polar nucleus is called mitocyte. Secondary polar nucleus is not called as mitocyte. Many people are having wrong opinion. That is why we told, remove that wrong opinion, remove that wrong information, and be very careful with all those things. This fertilization is not called as fertilization. So what they will ask inside the ovary, why we should not say triple fertilization why we should not say triple fertilization and why we should say only double fertilization? Why the reason is we need to say the secondary polar nucleus fusion of the male gamete is not called as fertilization. It's not called as it's not called as fertilization. It's not called as fertilization, right? So we should be very very careful. This um, is this is not called as fertilization. Or which is not called as fertilization. Male gamete and egg fusion is called fertilization. One primary polar nucleus, another primary polar nucleus fusion is called, this is also called as fusion. So this is, this is also fusion, this is also fusion. So fusion one, fusion two, fusion three. So we need to say this fusion two is not a fertilization. Why this fusion is not called a fertilization? The primary polar nucleus are not going to give the genetic material for the egg formation. It's not going to give the genetic material for the zygote. So I'm a student. They will ask why it is not called triple fertilization. Because the two primary polar nucleus fusion is not called as fertilization. It is just a fusion. Why? Because the primary polar nucleus are not going to contribute any genetic material for the zygote formation. Okay. So, uh, and also second thing we need to understand this primary polar nucleus, this primary polar nucleus, uh, after fusion, it is going to make secondary polar nucleus. The secondary polar nucleus and male gamete, once it is fusing, it is going to make endosperm. Endosperm nourishes zygote to become embryo. If I need embryo, I need zygote. Okay. Uh, if the zygote need to become embryo, I need I need endosperm. I need endo. Why I need endosperm? Okay, endosperm is solid or liquid? Solid, liquid. What you're confusing, man? Solid the word I can use for mango. Liquid the word I can use for coconut. The coconut liquid is a very good example of the liquid endosperm. Coconut white is a solid endosperm. So all the plants are not having solid and liquid endosperm. Coconut has both liquid or the coconut, liquid endosperm. Okay, and the uh, the white kernel, the white kernel. Okay, we used to always used to say white kernel or the coconut is called uh, the solid endosperm, right? So uh, like this, many narrations, many hidden points we need to bring for each and every sentence, right? Double fertilization. Uh, is a process uh, where um, we are considering only the two different type of fusion in the embryo sac, right? So that which we need to avoid, I already told you, primary polar nucleus fusion is not called as fertilization. It's not called as fertilization, right? The endosperm is a nourishing structure which makes the zygote to become embryo. So the zygote is becoming embryo because of which particular structure, because of the endosperm. Endosperm is a nourishing structure, okay. For what? Zygote is becoming embryo. So the 2N zygote, we know very well, zygote is a developing embryo. This developing embryo or zygote is going to become embryo because of the nourishment given by the endosperm. 
endosperm structure is present in all the angiosperm okay now if you're talking about the endosperm is represented as 3n i already told to you okay this endosperm 3n is having a yeah one chromosome number extra in addition to the parental chromosome number so the parental chromosome number we are calling as 2n or diploid set in zygote which is getting a uh, doubled or tripled to make the embryo this zygote is nourished by endosperm which is symbolized with 3n right now we are entering into the next uh, important concept uh, of endosperm in this endosperm structure how it is getting involved in the post fertilization process that we are going to discuss